Hello uh, and welcome to my part of the presentation where I am going to do a drum painting. Um, sorry if you can't see my face. I have the laptop tilted down so you'll be able to see all what I'm going to be doing. So the reason why I chose um, drum painting is because I feel like what you know, kid does not like to paint first of all and second of all what kid does not like to make a whole lot of noise like being messy and making noise you got you got a winner right there so I just wanted to choose something that will capture a child's attention and different color paint and drumsticks like I feel this will be an awesome attention grabber for um, for any child who wants to do something constructive. So I'm going to show you all that I have and these materials that I'm going to show you, you can literally get them at um, the dollar store. Um, I actually got this paint which was like a dollar and maybe maybe two dollars but I really want to say it was maybe like a dollar fifty cent or something like that. I got this at Walmart and I got just random colors but I also think they have this type of paint at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty five. So I got just all type of random colors and then I got these paint sticks. Now these paint sticks which are also called craft sticks. I got these from I think Target if I'm not mistaken and they were less than maybe five bucks I want to say. Um, so really wasn't that expensive but as an alternative you can always use um, something around your house maybe some type of sticks outside like some tree branches um, or maybe like some old like thing like a old stick around the house or something that um, must have belonged to something else and you can actually recycle it so that'd be also a good alternative as well and I have just a plain white paper because um, I just want the color to show up more but you are able to do use whatever uh, color paper you want. You can use the color paper, uh, you can use white paper, you can use um, butcher paper, which is this is what this is, but you can also use like a poster board from the dollar store as well. So most of these materials you can get from the dollar store except for the craft sticks. But like I said, about five bucks and two come in a pack, so which is good and they're pretty long. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to be doing drum painting for my part of the activity. And like I said, this is simple, uh, a little bit messy. So you may also want to smock as well. That's why I got my scarf on around so I won't mess up my clothes. But um, if it's around the house, an old t-shirt will work perfect. So I think I am going to start. Um, I, this is also a great activity for your little ones to basically pick whatever color they want. Um, it's their choice. It's their, you know, masterpiece. It's their creation. So I think I'm going to go with orange and pink because I'm still stuck in summer. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I'm not ready to let like fall. Even though fall has entered, but I'm not really ready to let fall come in definitely not the winter so I'm sticking to like the summer spring or so orange and pink so and also this is also a good project for um, students to um, be independent and pour the paint themselves so Let's see can you see it a little bit I got the pink going and then I have the orange going as well. Turn the camera down a little bit so you can kind of see. And I'm using a lot because I, I want to make some some noise, some, some messy noise. So I'm going to take your wooden sticks, your wooden craft sticks, and you're just going to let them go for what they know. And as you 
Etsy. It's also making like some prints as well on there. I'm gonna bring my laptop down a little bit so you can kind of see what kind of mess I'm making there. And this is also a great not only for them making all type of you know music, but it's also allowing them to also see like the different colors that each color would make, whatever color they choose to mix up. But it's just a great alternative to for them to just make music while also being creative. capture their attention for a long period of time. I think I'm going to add another color. I think I'm going to put in some yellow because that's one of my favorite colors. Add some yellow in there as well. And you have that music, that noise, that sound. Also, clap the sticks together while they're drumming. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little bit carried away, but that's just showing how they can really be entertained with um, with the drum painting and just not only making music, but also creating art as well. So I hope that you like um, my activity. Um, like I said, not only is it fun and entertaining, it's also um, also pretty reasonable as well. So, um, yeah, so thank you. Bye.